Hello everyone. It's me once again, Can't Star Moonlight After. <laughs> this message is going to be for our Aquarius, our air sign. Okay, let's see what's going on in the Aquarian world. What's going on in the mindset? Okay, remember if it doesn't apply, let it fly. And if it resonates, stick and stay and listen to what the divine has for you. I would just mention that will be for every Aquarius because everyone dynamics of life is different correct so please do not try to make this fit if it does not okay check your moon sign your rising sign okay if aquarian is on your chart all right so we're going to get it popping and we're just going to see what message is here okay aquarian sun moon rising and in Venus. okay i got here the nine of swords so there's something here, Aquarius, that uh, it's very much so on your mind, I feel. It really got you isolated. Okay, let's move forward here. The Tower card here, reverse. Something that you feel like a situation is not going to change. The Seven of Wands here, reverse. It's sort of like someone has given up. Um, the Magician card here. Is here someone has given up on some situation here. However, with the magician card here, you're trying to manifest and make this work. The sun card here reverse. Okay, this could be dealing with children. That there could be some issues with children, but uh, it could also mean that uh, basically it's like there's no sunshine. Like right now, like you are in darkness in the sense of not knowing what to do okay yes yeah, so there's a decision that you're gonna have to make here with the two of swords okay the king of pentacles so this could be dealing with finances on the home front like i'm saying some of you could be having issues with uh money or even issues with the child but it's something i feel like with the home front even regarding business something that could possibly have happened at work yeah and it's like right now your fortune with this is, is not really working out for you, or this could possibly be uh, from another, okay? The bottom of the deck is here, the Queen of Cups here in reverse. So we know the Queen of Cups, that's someone who basically holds back from love. They could be abusive. They could be detached emotionally, okay? And then here you have the King of Wands here. So what I'm getting a sense here in reverse, this is, like I said, this could either be a business or it could be a relationship-wise here, but here... I'm looking at this like 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 this is you know tarot is not is, is really not gender specific but this comes across to me as a couple or this could be just one person with one this one energy here okay this is what I am getting I'm gonna clarify um Holy Spirit could you please clarify the Queen of Cups here in reverse so like I said there's something um, there's an energy here where someone has given up on something. You feel like well, no matter what, how hard you have worked on, whatever this is, you feel like there's no sunshine with this. Um, your rewards from this is like, I'm not going to say that. Okay, so whatever this is, even though the, the Wheel of Fortune here is in reverse, it does not mean that you're not going to be successful with this. Um, it could be just mean like there's some type of delay. But I'm also feeling here like this is somebody karma. Like somebody caused this on themselves. Okay. Um, with this magician card here is like this person is saying, you know what? I give up. Like I'm going to just try to pull out everything I can possibly do to try to make this work. They're, like I said, there were decisions had to be made. There's nine of swords here. Someone is thinking like when is this going to change? Or well, someone is trying to delay change in something. Okay. Whomever this is, they're trying to delay change in something, but they know that a decision is going to be made, you know, because the wheels is turning with this. Holy Spirit, why is the Queen of Cups here in reverse for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising? So regardless of what, change is coming, okay? So the Ten of Cups here, you got the Ten of Cups here. So the Ten of Cups here is like... Regarding whatever this union is, this person is not reciprocating on what they should be doing. However, with this Queen of Cups here and this Ten of this Queen of Cups here in reverse, I feel like whoever has this Queen of Cups energy, like this is what they want. So this could possibly mean that whomever this Queen is, this is this person karmic cycle that they are going to, going through. Okay, Holy Spirit, could you please clarify? the king of wands and like i said the king of wands and, and this queen could, could be 
either two energies of a couple or just this one person possessing this. Both energies. Okay, so like so like if you are detached from something, obviously there's no passion there. There's no movement there. There's isolation there. Okay. But I feel like whomever this is, Aquarius, they have reached their karmic cycle. Okay, and they, they, like I said, they are feeling, they're, they're, they're regretting, and they are, like, stressing about this change. And it's keeping them up. And if you've left this person, Aquarius, um, it's, it's really bothering them. Like, they are, like, in total, I feel, I get a sense of depression here with the sun card here in reverse and the seven of wands here. Okay? I get, a, I get a sense of depression here. Holy Spirit, why is the king of wands here in reverse? Aquarius, sun, moon, and rising. Yeah, so this is this is regarding a love relationship. So I honestly feel like with this uh tool with this uh lovers card here, some of you guys could possibly still be in the home together or sort of like dealing with each other. But someone notices a change in someone. Holy Spirit, could you please clarify the nine of swords and the tarot card here in reverse? Could you please clarify? Hold on. Uh, the Nine of Swords and the Tower card here in reverse. Please clarify the Nine of Swords and the Tower card in reverse. The Holy Spirit for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Please clarify the Nine of Swords and the Tower card here in reverse. Okay. Yep, this person do not want this to end. You have here the Nine of Swords here, the Tower card, and the Six of Swords here. And also, to what it's saying to Aquarius, like if this don't change, like if somebody don't make a move or you don't remove yourself, like the healing process, like none of this is going to change. In a sense of like for the better. This is why you have like the Wheel of Fortune here in reverse. So that stagnant energy of not of delaying the tower from happening will cause this 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 will of fortune in reverse. Holy Spirit, why is the sun card here in reverse and the two of swords here? Oh boy, hold on. Holy Spirit, why is the sun card here in reverse and the two of swords here for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising? Sun card in reverse. And the two of swords here for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Sun card in reverse and the two of swords here for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Yep, because you're holding on to the past. Someone is holding on to the past, holding on to the way things used to be. And regardless of what this person is doing, um, they just want to hold on to you because they know that you are good for them. However, like their karmic cycle, like I say, is has is coming around full circle, and they're up trying to figure a way on how to delay this change. Okay, some of you possibly could possibly have filed for divorce. Okay, this person may more than likely like things that they didn't used to do that they probably gonna start doing now because they know that these are things that you always have asked for. So this is what is manifestation. Um, come in with the magician. So now they're going to try to do everything you possibly have that you used to try to ask them to do. Now they're going to try to do it. Okay. But this is the only to try to keep you from um, not moving. Not moving forward to whatever it is that you are seeking out. Okay. Holy Spirit, please give me clarification for the seven of wands here in reverse. Please give me clarification of the seven of wands. Ah, uh, the seven of wands reverse and the magician. Like I said, regardless of what, you know, you can only delay something for so long and the universe is going to make it happen whether you like it or not. Take it from me who left the husband who was cheating, caught him the first time, and over 20 some years of marriage and caught him again. I don't care how you try to delay it, it's going to happen. Someone's going to leave. Something's going to cause it to just break, okay? But right now, I feel like, Aquarius, if this is you in a situation where you need to leave, the universe is on your side. So, like, this is really, like, all of their energy, what they're trying to manipulate, what they're trying to do, 
Okay, I just want to let you know this is this is your other, okay? Or how they are feeling right now. Hold on, guys. Please clarify the seven of wands here in reverse. And the magician for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Yeah, I don't I don't see you trying to. Yep, it's conflict. They know they have caused conflict. Okay, and this could possibly be you, Aquarius. You know, like maybe at one point you were trying to defend and work this out, and then you just dropped it and said, "You know what? I'm done with this." So now I feel like your person's energy, like they're like they're realizing that you're done. And look, you're done. All of this chaos that they have caused with these five of wands here. Okay, so you could be dealing with a fire sign or another air sign, possibly even Earth. This is what I am getting here. Holy Spirit, why is the... Could you please clarify the King of Pentacles? And this is what's causing this person um, to also feel like out of control and don't know what to do. Because what they're used to manipulating, they are not manipulating anymore. So I basically feel like Aquarius, you are in the I don't care mode right now. And if some of you have not left, you, you're planning to... You're planning to leave the building, okay? But you're in the I don't care mode right now. I feel like things that used to bother you, they realize it does not bother you anymore. Things that they used to say, them not coming home at a certain time, it doesn't bother you anymore. Holy Spirit, why is this King of Pentacles here in reverse and the Wheel of Fortune in reverse for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising? King of Pentacles in reverse and the Wheel of Fortune in reverse for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Let's see. Yep, the Seven of Swords. This person is going to come to you and admit a lot of things. Now, they may be at the realization that they realize what they have done, but are they truly sorry? Only the Divine really knows this. Okay, so this person, I feel like, is going to communicate something with you. You know, they may even reveal some things to you that you don't even know. Because now they know they are at the moment where, where it's about to blow up in their face. That's basically what is going on here. So like I said, I feel like, Aquarius, this is your person's energy. This is what they are going through. This is what they're trying to manipulate. This is their realization. And this is like their karmic cycle. Their karmic cycle is losing you. Okay? That's what it is. And then, like I said, if you've already there and have not got up and left, they've already let um lost you emotionally, mentally. Like you may some of you may be physically be be there, but you're not there. They've already lost you. And they know this. They know this. This is why they're trying to delay this tower from happening. But like I said, it's gonna happen. It is going to happen. So let's see what your energy is, Aquarius, toward this person, Holy Spirit. How does our Aquarian feel about their other? Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising, Holy Spirit. Jesus, hold on, Aquarius. How does our Aquarian feel about their other? Yep, you're tired of the bullshit. You're burnt out with it. This is relentless behavior. There's no passion. You're tired of carrying all the burden, burdens of the relationship. Um, emotionally, mentally, you're sick of it. So now this person, now you just transfer that energy right back to them. Now they are in this nine of swords energy. Okay. Yep, you're gonna release yourself. Could have been dealing with a Capricorn. You're releasing yourself from all this. Um, toxicity, this addiction. Um, I feel like this person, even though the three of clubs have not shown, is not shown here. I just feel like this person give me energy of possibly substance abuse, sexual abuse, infidelity, always cheating, verbally abuse, just not doing what they're supposed to be doing. And you're just fed up with it, but you're releasing yourself from this Aquarius. Yeah. And now you're in a defense mode. Okay. Look how you have, look here. That's why I was saying, I feel like your person like... <laughs> Look here, you got the seven of wands twice. 
So this is you now. So you're going to protect everything that you have. Your mind, body, and soul. You're not letting this person get away with anything anymore. You're not. You're moving forward. You're protecting yourself financially, I feel. And I honestly feel like some of you, this person, even though that they know... Like some of y'all may have like hidden bank accounts and stuff like that. That's what I'm getting. But you're really putting your stakes down. Okay. And it's like your mind frame is totally different regarding this situation. You realize you have to defend your ground and stand your ground and make a move on this person. Because this person going to do whatever it takes to try to keep you there. Because their secrets came out. Could have been dealing with a cancer or a Pisces. Their secrets came out and there was no love here. It could be dealing with a Gemini. Okay, there's no love here. And now you are here. Look at this. Look at it's like y'all mirroring each other. Like you're the opposite of your other. This is your other, and this is you. You're done with stressing. You're done with stressing over this situation, Aquarius. You're done with it. Wow. I like it when a person realizes their worth. And now you're planning. You got the three of ones here. You're planning. Some of you possibly could have been on. Um, Applying for a job online and maybe it's out of state or to another city and you're planning to make a move. This is why I was saying like if you're still with this person, it's like you are protecting your every move. You don't want them to know that you're on their way out. You're on your way out. Even though this person is in a nine of swords stance, they feel it and they're going to try to delay it. But you can't delay the universe on, on the inevitable. Look at here. The three of pentacles here. Okay, so this either means now when you go off on this venture, Aquarius, either your person is going to try to keep you and try to, you know, they possibly maybe even propose to you. Or when you go out here, you set sail overseas. Why did I say overseas? And maybe somebody may be traveling overseas. Maybe you're going to meet somebody overseas and it's going to cause you to, to, to get married. You're going to find your significant. Or you're traveling to another state and you're going to find your significant. Okay, but this movement, whatever this message is, okay, what mm, I'm also hearing too, a message could be coming. Maybe some of y'all waiting for somebody to send y'all a message. This could be somebody from the past. The one who you was always supposed to be with or you felt that. And maybe you and this individual going to get married. Oh, you see that? Look at this. I'm telling you, look at this, the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, and the Three of Coins, teamwork, family life, abundance, planning, messages, moving about. You see that, Aquarius? Let me see what else we have here. Yep. You invested a lot of time in this. Now it's time to plant your own seeds and watch your harvest grow with the Seven of Pentacles here. Justice. Look at this. A divorce may be coming up. Libra could be dealing with a Libra. A divorce may be coming up. Okay, somebody possibly filing in paperwork or even for child support. You want your new beginning. This individual here is like you feel like, you know, upright. The four of uh, cups is like basically like missing divine opportunities or missing an opportunity. You don't want any cups from this person. I feel like this person come to you as if though they give you offerings like they're your God or something. Okay, and you're not going to work on this because... It no longer serves you, Aquarius, okay? The Page of Pentacles here in reverse. You don't want any offerings from this individual, I am feeling, because you know there's no sunshine there. Look, you got the sun card here twice. You got the sun card here twice, okay? This also, too, I'm going to say, even like I said, sometimes the sun card represents children. So with this justice card here, um, it could be a situation where this could also be child support, Okay, um, it could be also a situation where this person, you know, they work. However, they don't put the time in to like send you funds for the child. Like this person, I feel like looking at this, this person is basically showing like or trying to show the court system. And it's on something else, or this could be possibly still with this. This person going to try to come in the court system and make it seem like they don't really have anything. But really, they do. Okay, they're gonna try to they, they're gonna try to come off as if though like they dead broke, like they hiding money, like they're not hiding everything that they have. The magician card here. So basically, um, Aquarius, it is basically saying that here, listen, you have all the tools you need to move forward for your new beginning. Uh-huh. The ace of wands here, beautiful. Okay. 
A three of cups here because in this relationship, you were not enjoying yourself. Also, too, mind you, Aquarius, you know, you may have some so-called friends or family or whatever that are gossiping about you and really are not celebrating you like you think you like you think they are. Here we go again with the two of swords as well. The decisions. The decision is yours. You got it here again. Okay. The decision is yours. You're going to make the proper decision. This is your other year. Okay, and I feel like the wolf here is like the information that's going to come in. They're trying to see which way they move. But right here, you're going to make this decision. I feel whether or not you see a way or not, you're going to make this decision because you're basically tired of it. Okay, so with that being said, I am K-Star Moon Life After. Like, share, comment down below. I'll see you next time, Aquarian. And remember, every ending is a beautiful beginning and you cannot delay the universe. That, so that karmic cycle is going to happen. To your other, they can't delay it even if they tried. Okay, see you later.